It's the 25th anniversary of your no hitter coming up in September. 25 years. <laughs> That's unbelievable. When I think about it, what does it mean? What is it? How does that hit you? You know, it, it means a lot to me. A no hitter is is such a cool thing, and it it kind of comes out of the blue. Uh, and, and there's some luck involved. Everybody knows that. You have some balls hit at people, and your defense makes great plays. But, you know, Rich, I, I wanted to be remembered for being good and not, and not just making it, but, but being good. And, and I felt like if there was, you know, something to be said for being a role model, that would go a long way towards doing that. You know, that kids could aspire to not only make it, not only to participate, but, you know, to, to, to make a difference and to be a contributor. And while it was only one game, you know, that, that no hitter is, is, you know, given me something to hang my head on. It's given people something to, that remember me by this, particularly the fact that it happened in New York with the pinstripes in with the Yankees, you know, it, it just, it's something that's been a lifelong touchstone and something I'm very proud of. So as you mentioned, every no hitter does, as you say, have the, the uh, aspect of luck. What was the one, I don't remember it off the top of my head. I do remember just celebrating being a Michigan graduate and a Yankee fan just for me, seeing you do that after I, as I mentioned, being in Ray Fisher Stadium that day in Ann Arbor, seeing you at the collegiate level and then seeing you do that in the Bronx in the old Yankee Stadium. It just meant so much to me personally. But was there was there a defensive play that, that saved it? What, 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 uh, what about that day do you remember? Oh, gosh, there were so many great plays. I remember, you know, it wasn't a perfect game. I walked a few guys that day, and I had a guy on first base, and uh, Manny Ramirez had just been called up to the Indians that day, or a couple days before, had a huge contingent from New York City where he had a lot of friends and family. They were all down the left field line cheering and screaming, and I didn't know much about him. There wasn't much of a scouting report of this young kid. We all knew he was good, and he hit a ball at Randy Velarde at shortstop that uh, – I don't know how Randy got in front of it, but he did. <laughs> but he did. It one hopped him. He kind of jumped up, almost caught it in his chest, and then threw it over to actually got a double play out of it. So, I mean, it was just kind of meant to be that day. And, and uh, you know, it's just something, like I said, I cherish so much to have that connection with the Yankee organization and, and with the city. Well, I'm just glad that Manny Ramirez's career as a Yankee killer started on September 5th, not September 4th, <laughs> 1993, because Manny would have days against the Yankees, no no question about it, being from right there, as you mentioned. Did anybody try to bunt on you that day? Do you recall? You know, funny enough, uh, uh, Kenny Lofton tried to bunt. Ninth inning, leadoff hitter, 4 nothing. we're winning. Oof. And Kenny came up, and, you know, obviously he was, he was tough to get out in the first place, but... Uh, he took us by complete surprise, tried to bunt the ball, um, went down the third base line, and thank goodness it trickled foul because he would have been safe by 30 feet. <laughs> and uh, I love it because the, the fans rained down on Kenny pretty good at that point. <laughs> 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 the Bronx cheer. The Bronx, the Bronx cheer. cheer. Is that yeah, Bush, they, they, is that Bush they League, though? to see Kenny swing the bat. <laughs> is that Bush League, though, Jim? What do you, what's the unwritten rule there, do you think? You know, I don't know. I, it, he, that was a big part of his game. It sure. was still a close ball game. It, you know, it, it, I, I, I don't really hold it against him in any way. It's just, but I sure would have hated to lose a no hitter like that. And um, you know, that, but that's baseball. That's competition. You put yourself out there, and, and uh, you know, it, thankfully it, it trickled foul. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.